Well, I think this is a great fit for DIT. The DIT Conservatory was founded to cater for both great musical traditions in Dublin, uh, the classical and the traditional. And here is a work that embraces those two in a very meaningful way, I think. We grew up with the whole concept of 1916, uh, very much part of our family. We had a great admiration and respect for the leaders and those who made such a big sacrifice in 1916. Uh, and I thought it would be a wonderful opportunity to compose a full requiem uh, and to dedicate it to all those who died in 1916. This is a work that uses a very broad palette of colours with instrumentation um, from, the, from the Baroque to the traditional Irish to the classical. I think the Irishness of the piece is very genuine. Um, there's something in the music that resonates with people. Shadow singing in orchestra, to my knowledge, was never done before. Shebel is uh, an amazing young vocalist. She always had a special gift uh, for interpretation. Uh, I suppose about Shebel, you would say she was always an old soul. I was really, really touched to know that my dad was thinking of my voice every single time he wrote a piece for me and that he had my range, my tone, everything in mind. One more. Let's go. One. No one even knew if it was going to work and I'm pretty sure my dad didn't even write the last movement until two weeks beforehand or something and everyone was screaming for music and practice and everything and everyone was just, everything was just hectic and then when it all came together in the end. It was a huge success, it got a fantastic reaction, the audience loved it. It was very emotional actually because we were commemorating 1916. It really took off in a way that I wasn't expecting and you know became very very popular and very very sought after. And I was receiving emails from all over the place from uh, guests who had been at the concerts asking uh, could we consider uh, bringing Marvna to them. And then the decision was made to record it and wonderful opportunity actually that the DIT had agreed to record this work. It means that uh, all the musicians involved get to lay it down to have forever. Great opportunity for the students to experience a recording and just for our archives to have a, a complete work like this. This I suppose is the culmination of the project. The beauty of this particular recording is that it brings together the staff and the students uh, of DIT. Involves student choir and a collaboration between the different departments. I didn't think I'd be doing this this early, so it's great. Yeah, this is a brand mm. new experience for me anyway. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this. It's a very good training in that aspect to see the different side of the, of the music business and also for the students to work along their professional you know, tutors to kind of gel them together and see the different aspects of musical life. Well it's great like we're all like kind of like one big family everyone knows each other. And yeah they have loads of opportunities like this yeah. is a great opportunity you know to record a CD. I like it. Yeah DIT have been wonderful, the Conservatory have been terrific, they, they took the, the project on board uh, and uh, helped me every step of the way, uh, putting all the resources uh, of the Conservatory 
at my disposal for this project. I think the combination of the performance itself, the music itself, really stood out, I think, in the minds of the general public this year. And no one thought it would get this far. Um, we're going to London, we're going to New York, all those things. It's kind of unbelievable and who knows, really, who knows what's going to happen to this. Thank you, Fire. Thank you, Burry.